All right, fellas, welcome back. Let's see here, man. Uh, this week I got a uh, hell. This week I got three shop cards in the mail, fellas. First one I got is uh, Rick Zink, Skeletal Remains. Man, he uh, he swapped shop cards with me, and I got his card in on Monday. And it was in an the envelope was it that it was in. I thought, what in the world is is uh, when I picked it up, I thought, what in the world is 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 in this thing? And I opened it up, man, and this little skeleton feller was in here. And I thought, man, that is so daggone cool. Uh, totally wasn't expecting that, Rick, man. I appreciate the little skeleton. He's going to sit in here with me and keep me company while I fool, while I fool with this stuff, man. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to show you that little feller, man. He is... Dang on cool. I I love that little fella, man. I've been seeing other people with these things sitting around and hell I, I, I didn't know where they was coming from, but man, Rick, I appreciate that little fella. I ain't give him a name yet, but I, I'm I'm trying to think of a name for him. But uh man, I appreciate that little fella right there. I can't I can't say that enough. Let me set him back here. Where he ain't in the way. There we go. All right, fellas. Uh, Rick Zink, Skeletal Remains, man. Is that not a cool looking card? I love that card. I've been seeing these cards, and uh, man, uh, <clears throat> I, it, this is another feller. I was afraid to send him an email about, hey, man, could I get one of them cards? Because, uh, hell, man, to, to me, he's one of the legends. That. Look, the the next two is also, but anyway, fellers, uh, man, all y'all been y'all all y'all have been really good so far. About uh, yeah, man, I swap cards with you. So uh, Rick sent me out one of his cards, man, and I I hope mine made it to him. If it didn't, Rick, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, add your channel in the description. So maybe you'll see this and, and maybe let, let me know if it did or didn't. If it didn't, man, I'll get you another one out in the mail. Rick, man, I appreciate the card so daggone much, man. And this little fella right here, man, he was a total surprise, as well as you guys with the stickers, man. Never expect something like that from anybody. And uh, I'm, it, it's, it's cool, man. I, I appreciate it. Rick, thank you for swapping cards with me, man. I'm going to move you out of the way here, and we're going to move the next one in. All right, next up is, uh, man, <clears throat> excuse me, fellas. This next feller is, uh, man, I call him, <laughs> I call him one of the Rust and Patina Kings on YouTube, as far as I'm concerned anyway, man. Mars over at Mars Garage, man, uh, He's been around for like a year. I was looking early, maybe a little over a year. I, I can't remember, man. But, man, Mars does some daggone cool stuff. And uh, this is another one. I was <laughs> I wanted one of his cards, man, and I was afraid to ask for it. And I, like the <clears throat> like Rick, man, uh, and, and, and Mars and this next fella, man, I seen where they had made a comment on one of my videos, and I, I thought, well, dang, man. That they they watch my video, so maybe I can get a shop card from them. So anyway, man, uh, so far everybody's been killer, fellers. I, I can't say enough. I appreciate these daggone shop cards. Anyway, Mars Garage, man. Again, I think my opinion. He's one of the daggone Rust and Patina Kings. Y'all need to go over there and check him out. Hell, man, <clears throat> I know you're gonna like what you see. Give him a sub. Check him out, man. You'll be going back. I did. <laughs> and not only did he send me a card, man, he sent me a daggone sticker, just like the card, man. Mar Marcelo, I, I, man, I can't say it enough. I appreciate the card, and I really appreciate the sticker. And, uh, again, fellas, y'all go check him out. If you, if you ain't already, man, check him out. Give him a sub, man. Same, same with Rick Zink. I, hell, he, he's been, he's been, he's been around forever, man. 
take him out if you haven't. Give him a sub, give him a like, and uh, check out some of them videos, man. Anyway, we're going to move on here. Marcella, man, I can't say it enough. I appreciate the card and the sticker and the comment that you left. Uh, man, thank you so much. I, I, I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart, man. All right, fellas. Next one up is, uh, man, I have been watching. I've been watching this fella since I, since I first started watching model car channels. And uh, uh, again, man, I didn't want to send him an email. Didn't know if he would swap cards with me. And I've been wanting one of his cards, man. I always watch all of his daggone videos. When they come out and I see Charlie Mike's got a new video, I am on it, fellas. Uh, man, Charlie Mike, <laughs> before I go any further, let me say, man. I wish I was your daggone neighbor. I would so love to have a daggone cold beverage with you, man. It, it, daggone feller. Hey, wh wh what can I say, man? Hell, Charlie Mike, I love you, man. <laughs> All right, fellers. Let's see here, man. This is some of his stuff right here. And, man, this, this is cool. This right here is really daggone cool, man. I'm going to move this card up here so you can see it maybe a little closer. That right there is so daggone cool, man. I know it's not a car. I, my, a car like we would think of or what I would think of. But, man, that thing right there is sweet. And this right here, man, I really like this. I, I, I really like bikes. The older, the better, man. That right there, if I ain't mistaken. And... Again, I'm I'm gonna add his channel in the bottom, and maybe if I'm wrong, he can correct me. But if I ain't mistaken, I saw not long ago, BG over at BG's workshop, man. Uh, if I ain't mistaken, I seen where Charlie had maybe give him this model right here, man. Uh, Again, if I'm wrong, Charlie, man, straight me out on that. But I feel like I'm right. And again, hell, I don't know. Maybe I dreamed it. <laughs> anyway, fellas, uh, Charlie Mack, man. Y'all ain't seen Charlie Mack. Where in the hell have y'all been, man? Uh, man, that, that dude always makes me laugh, from, especially at the beginning of his videos and the end. He, he never fails to make me laugh man i always smile when i see he's got a new video up man check out charlie mack fellers the the ones that i mentioned man i appreciate the kind words on the back of the cards man I, it, it really means a lot and this is another one man he had made a comment on one of my videos and i thought yep i want to shoot this fella an email to see if i can get one of them daggone cards so anyway fellers I got a daggone card from Charlie Mack and Mars over at Mars Garage. And also, daggone, Rick Zink over at Skeletal Remains, man. Daggone, fellas, I appreciate these cards. Y'all y'all have no idea. Y'all really, I, I feel like you don't. Anyway, I'm going to get Charlie out of the way here, man. We're going to move through this one again. I think the shorter videos is the better ones. Next up is, look at there, Hot Rods Model Shop. <laughs> if you ain't checked that fella out, go check him out. Give him a sub. Hell. All right. Uh, <laughs> if you want one of my cards, man, again, Hot Rods Model Shop at gmail.com. Shoot me an email, man. I got plenty of them. I'll, sh I'll send you one out in the mail. I got two going out in the morning, fellas. All right. We're going to move on here. Uh, man, I ain't really done a whole lot this week. Uh, my, I've been working on my Earnhardt car. And we got him this far. <laughs> That's where we got him at, man. We ain't never put no glass in it. But I did put the, the dash in it, the steering column and the steering wheel. Uh, let's see here. I put the radiator and fan on i can't get the hood off that gone fella i know how to get it off there we go 
All right, fellas, we uh, got the dash in, the steering column, steering wheel, and I'll try to get this in here to where maybe, you, I don't know, can you can you see it in there? <laughs> Let me move him around here. All right, fellas. Well, hell, I don't think you can see it. Anyway, believe me, there's a steering column and a steering wheel in there and a dash. Uh, let's see here, man. We ain't got a whole lot more to put on this thing. Uh, my intake, uh, my intake, my carburetor and breather needs to go on there. And then there's some, uh, lines, coolant lines or something that goes on up here. My front shocks, man, I need to get them on. Uh, let's see here. That, there's a couple other things, man. And this little fella will be done other than I'm really needing like glass for it uh red in in one of my videos i was talking about that bike glass and he's he mentioned something about polishing it out and i'm gonna have to look into that because I, i'm not having any luck finding a daggone bike glass for this rascal so i'm gonna have to look into that and maybe try that but anyway i i, I took a i took a little breather on him so to speak man i, I quit fooling with him there a little bit I've told y'all I, I kind of like fooling with them a little bit, and then, man, I kind of get burned out on them. So anyway, fellas, uh, that's about all we've done this week on our Earnhardt car, and uh, what we have been kind of fooling with, not really a whole lot, but I got that uh, 64 Dodge, that Bill Golden car that I got at that first swap meet I went to for 8 bucks. It was missing the, the, the motor. Uh, let's see the motor the front wheels and the tires is what the the feller told me and man uh i was going through it here when i when i started fooling with it i was going through it and so far i also found the daggone steering column and steering wheel is uh i can't find it man so but i look i got i got a lot of parts over there and speaking of parts i got something else to mention here in a minute but anyway um uh, I'm pretty daggone sure I can come up with a steering column and steering wheel for that unit. And uh, as far as a motor, man, I've had this uh, Hemi motor kicking around here for quite a while now. Uh, I don't know, hell, I dug him out of one of the boxes from way back. But, fellas, here's what I'm, I'm wondering, and I don't know, maybe so, I hope somebody knows. Uh, I haven't seen this motor with the with the cat the 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 double cams like that and 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 the belt man I, i've never seen that before can somebody tell me what kit that unit right there come out of what's it out of because i honestly cannot remember and it's been bothering me uh anyway that's the that's the motor that we're gonna use in this unit uh hemi with a four speed so uh, let's see here, fellers. I said him over there. I think that's about all I have for you. Can't think of nothing. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I mentioned something about some parts. Uh, fellers, earlier in the week, uh, th this guy I know, uh, he, uh, he fools with a lot of auctions and yard sales and all that kind of crap. But anyway, he uh, sent me some pictures of some o old model cars pretty much junk really and uh there's like a dollar and two dollars and a few of them different prices but anyway man uh he uh hell he, he bought them all all the cars anyway he bought them all and, and he, he showed up over at work man uh hell he's uh he's part owner of the of the business but then any anyway, jesse you ain't my boss keep that in mind fella <laughs> no I, look, fellas, I, I love him, but he will—he's a wheeler and dealer. But anyway, he brought that box in, and and uh, I was kind of looking through the, all the junk. Jesse, it was all junk. <laughs> I was looking at the junk in there, and uh, kind of looking to see what was there, man. I seen a couple things that interested me. So anyway, man, uh, let's see here. One of the things that that was in the box, and this this right this unit right here is still sealed, fellas. It's a '62 Ford Thunderbird AMT, 125 scale. 
anyway, this unit right here, man, was in there. Brand new, still sealed. I guess you can see the plastic. Anyway, still sealed, man. Uh, <clears throat> this was in, in there, and that this unit right here interested me. So, anyway, uh, uh, another unit that was in there, and, and man, it's a, a, I don't know what y'all call it, a built or a built up or, or whatever. But anyway, it was a, a 32 Ford. Let's see here. I, I, I got the box top. Maybe I can work this in here and not destroy stuff. The 32 Ford Vicky. This was in there, and man, it, it's been uh, partly built up. It's been painted. Uh, let's see here, man. But the uh, dang fellers, I, I seen that, and that caught my eye, and that, that interested me. So uh, anyway, man, I said, I don't know, Jesse, what, what do you want for the whole damn box? He said, well, I give the guy $30. And then he kind of gave me some kind of story about, I don't know, the, the fella, Dr. Dr. Bills and so on and so forth for the fella. And I was like, well, man, I ain't going to give $30 for that box. There's eight more boxes over there. And about the only thing left that may be any good is an unbuilt uh, monster truck. I don't know what the hell the name of it was. It had some kind of damn snake head on the hood or whatever. Not into snakes, fellas. Or a monster truck. But anyway, it's a Jaguar and some MG or M yeah, MGB, MG, TCs in there. Pretty much all junk, man, other than the monster truck. Uh, but this right here, man, this caught my eye and, and the 62 Thunderbird. So, uh, I told him, I was like, man, uh, Jesse, I wouldn't have give you $30 for it. Not for my, not for anything in there. I'm not interested in the 62 Thunderbird, but hell, it's brand new. What I was interested in was the, the 32 Ford Vicky. So anyway, man, he said, uh, I told him, I said, I ain't giving you 30 bucks, man. I, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't, I not interested he said well what would you give and i said well i, I tell you man I, i'll give you 20 bucks i'll give you 20 bucks for it and uh he look he he took it so i know damn well jesse either made money or broke money or broke even i'm sorry he either made money on me or broke even so jesse i don't know what you did but you fella <laughs> hey i appreciate you picking that junk up for me jesse but anyway, fellas, that's about all I got for you on this here Friday night. Uh, man, I hope everybody has a, a, a good, safe weekend. We, we've been getting some rain here, so my, my hopefully I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I get my grass mowed this weekend. Uh, finally, it's kind of getting green again, and it's kind of growing again somewhat so hopefully i can get that mode at some point this weekend when the rain breaks or whatever but fellas i hope y'all have a good safe weekend and uh i'm gonna link all them guys down in my description man uh rick zinc appreciate you man mars garage preach appreciate you charlie mike appreciate you and uh before i get out of here man uh, let, let me say this right here, man. Uh, this card right here, Gemini Scale Model Works. Vinny over there, the cuz. Man, uh, back earlier in the week uh, on, my, on my lunch break, man, I, I was got on YouTube. I had a few minutes, got on YouTube, and daggone, I, I seen a video. I, I didn't like seeing it. But anyway, I thought, what in the world? So I, I kind of speeded through it. I had to get back to work. I kind of speeded through it. And then when I got home, man, I checked it out. And dang on, Vinny, man, uh, Vinny over at Gemini Scale Model Works, man, he was in the hospital. And I thought, what in the world, man? And uh, a couple days later or so, I saw a, vi a video of him back at his workbench. So, man, I, I, I want to throw this out there. Uh, Vinny over at Gemini Scale Model Works. Man, I was tickled to death to see you back at your bench. Uh, you said you wasn't 100% yet, but, man, I, I'm I'm really praying for you to get 100%, man. It, it was really cool to see you back at your bench. And, uh, man, daggone. <laughs> Don't be doing that crap, man. Stay out of them daggone hospitals. 
But uh, I understand, man, when, when, when you're sick, you're sick, fellas. Anyway, fellas, that's all I got for you tonight. Everybody have a good, safe weekend, and we'll catch you all on the next one. We'll see you later, fellas.